Okay, so today we're going to have a look at uh, the shrink shrink wrap comment from the on the magic uh, software. Um, I am going to open it. It's gonna. It's a very good trick to be able to close surfaces um, to be able to 3D print. Okay. So I'm gonna open one of my files. So don't forget to save your Rhino files or any any, any other 3D model files as an STL. Um, that way, there we go. We have a beautiful chair. Cool. So um, in a previous tutorial, you would have learned how to fix wizard it. And that's what we're gonna do now, um, just for the demonstration. So if I click on the date, bang, it's full of errors. Okay, so I go to advice step, automatic fixing. It's gonna process all the what they call the shell. The shell and not more than the elements of the bit of the of the model. So I'm going back to advice step. Okay. I'm still having some errors. Go back there, automatic fixing, so you can keep going through that an immense amount of time. Go to the device step, update. Okay, so that's most of the errors have been resolved, but I still have 18, and 18 that's going to be a problem to 3D print. Um, I could go through that a few more times, that's not going to erase those 18 errors. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, cheat a bit. Basically, I'm going to wrap my model with one surface, almost like a film that would, that would contain the model, almost airtight within it, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to close that and I'm gonna shrink wrap it. So the sample interval is basically the tolerance um, of your film, your plastic film around it. So one millimeter in that case, um, I would suggest that you go as small as your smallest model detail. Um, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm gonna put two mil just because the, the smaller the tolerance, the longest it's going to take and I don't want you to wait for 20 minutes um, for this demonstration to happen. So hopefully that's going to be pretty quick. Um, okay, nearly there. Okay, so you can sort of see it now. Yeah, that's the plastic film that is all around it. So again, the smallest the tolerance is, um, the less you're going to see um, those little imperfections. I mean, it depends what you're doing. There might not be imperfections. Um, so now we're gonna run it through the fixed wizard again and that's it you know one shot and there's no more errors and you're ready to 3d print hope the trick helps good luck